Hey guys, as you might have seen, the uh, eBay pedals came in in this brilliant Audi uh, box. <laughs> Gotta say, pretty sick when you order some M3 knockoff pedals and they come in a knockoff Audi A4 box. Love it. So these are the pedals. And we're gonna pop these in, they're gonna be pretty sweet. Here, let me show you what they look like. They're actually pretty decent quality. They're gonna get scratched up, obviously, but check that out. Now, Spedum said uh, don't use the stock hardware, but the thing is, the stainless steel hardware from like Home Depot was like 10, 15 bucks. And these pedals were 10, 15 bucks, about 20 with, uh, with shipping or something. So I'm like, I figure it's not even worth it. Pretty sure this car is not gonna last as long as these pedals or the screw. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the stock hardware and see what happens. I know Spedum's probably gonna text me and tell me to f myself for not listening to him. But yeah, I'll, I'll just send him a picture of these pedals and say what's, what's good though, what's good. I'm gonna use this freaking GoPro today so I can get in there. Okay guys, so the pedals are in place. Uh, let's see what they look like. They look pretty sweet. Uh, I did learn a couple things uh, that I'm gonna show you obviously. There's two things I learned. Number one thing, the brake pedal is metal, so it's a little bit harder to drill through and actually align. Clutch is plastic for some reason. I don't know if everybody's is like this, but that's what this one's like. The one thing is do not over tighten it because there is the rubber in between. So all that's gonna happen is the rubber is gonna just start seeping out the sides and you're gonna get these really big bulgy rubbers. The other thing is the gas pedal is actually bent. So I don't know what to do about that. I would say either bend the gas pedal the other way or when you get the pedals bend it out a little bit before you put it in. And then the third thing, third thing is on the dead pedal, because it's so big and the screws are here and all the way up there, they're so spread apart, the rubber is gonna stick out a little bit here. Closer to the middle, it's gonna be flat. You could just leave it that way. What I did was I opened this up a little bit with a flathead and stuck a piece of wood behind to actually make the middle pop out a little bit. So the rubber's all evenly uh, coming out. But other than that, 20 bucks worth of eBay pedals. Looks pretty great.